Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I wanted to share with you what I'm getting ready to send out for the um, Is It Halloween Yet um, swab hosted by Larissa, who is October Avenue Crafts. She invited me to participate. Um, it is a make to receive to. And there was a list of items and um, you're supposed to pick five of them and then package it cute. So we could do Memdex, mini trinket box, set of two umbellies, set of two bows, set of two rosettes, set of 10 die cuts, $5 store-bought goodie, sequin mix, set of two bag toppers, and crafter's choice. And we were supposed to pick five of those. I did more, but um, I think I did everything other than the um, Memdex. I think that's the only thing I didn't do and mostly because I ran out of time. I'm late getting this out anyway. I'm not late, but I'm like right at the deadline. So anyway, I want to show you real quickly what I'm sending. So I went ahead and made this um, uh, witch boot from Scrap Diva, the tote, jelly tote. So I love it. Decorated all the front. I'm using Frank Garcia collections of <laughs> 31, Luna, Twilight, because um, I just have like a like two pieces of each thing, you know, and I only had like four sheets of 12 by 12 paper and one six by six pad. That's all I had. <laughs> so, um, but I wanted to use it. I love it and I love past Halloween. So anyway, here's what we got. So let's, I think I'm going to pull everything out and then repack it after I show you. So let me show you the, the bag first. So here's the cute little treat bag. I did a tutorial on how I put this together and lined mine so that <clears throat> the black showed through um, the witch boot. I attached a little, just a little pom-pom there, a big pom-pom actually on the side and decorated up with some ephemera, this cute little ghosty from Timu, this spider pick from Timu bows, flowers, spider web. That's part of the um, spider web mini album set from this year also. Um, the treats. This word was actually gifted to me in a previous swap. I got some rosettes back here. I think it turned out really cute. I hung a cute little um, garment pin here on the tip of the um, spider web. And then I hung this cute little, get flipped over, this cute little bat charm right there. So I thought that was cute. So that is the bag itself, which I love. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to tip over because we got a heavy front. <laughs> okay. I'll start here at the back where the bigger pieces, that's kind of how I um, place things in, is usually putting the bigger pieces in the back. So first up, I made these cute. Um, bag toppers. So here's my set of bag toppers. I used the words, uh, Halloween words for, to um, layer those up. And then again, part of the spider web mini album I used to make <clears throat> the, um, the bag topper. I included the bags back here. <clears throat> Let me pull these out real quick so I can just kind of give you a quick look at them. So I just have, you know, it all layered up. I got some of that trim, these trims that are from um, Timu. I stitched along all on the webs, all the straight pieces. I stitch some things and not others. Um, I started out stitching and I always do this. I, as I go along, I get ahead of myself and I forget to stitch. So, <clears throat> but anyway, so these are stitched and only stitch the straight lines because <clears throat> I just I can't see well enough, I guess, these days to, um, you know, especially when it's on black and I was just having a hard time. So anyway, just some flowers for my stash, a little spider. Just these tiny little flowers are from Laurier Creating for Fun. Just love this. So that's my bag toppers. I have to say I put the um, two bags in there also in the back so that they would have bags to use. 
I'm going to go ahead and get this all put back in just so I can show you how I'm going to pack it. Okay. And these have to kind of go on its side because it's too wide. <laughs> so these are kind of on the, the other direction than what I normally would place them in. Okay, then I did two rosettes. So again, I have these layered up with some of the um, Frank Garcia collections. This little spider web, this spider web. Let's see, is this? Yes, this is Erica's also from last year. It was part of the uh, pumpkin mini album, I believe. And I have some of that other stuff layered up back there. This kind of webby looking trim. I have it in black and in white. So there's some of it used in both places. So anyway, the numbers. I use the um, uppercase um, alpha and number set from Scrappy from last month. So there's that, just a cute little um, bag topper there. Okay, I also did a set of bows. Now these are the, this is the um, spider bow from this year. So it's got that really gorgeous web layering piece. And so yeah, that's what I put in there. And then this, this was from the dollar store, this piece here, it was like a, they were, um, I think they were like cupcake wrappers or something, and I just cut it down. I thought it would make a cute piece to add on, and then just some stickers from the Dollar Tree. So there's the, there's two bows. Okay, and then, well, I did two more bows, and this is from the star, triple star bow from the month before, I believe, or maybe it was just July. So there's those, and I stitched on some, made a ruffle out of some fabric that I got at Joanne's last year, and then layered on some spider trim. Yeah, oh no, it's spider, yeah, spider web trim, and I stitched down the center. This is, I think it's this Dollar Tree trim. So there's two more bows. Okay, and then I included this um, cute little embellishment here. I have, I'm using the broom shaker from Scrap Diva. Which broom shaker? They're really cute. So I just made, went ahead and made a, um, an embellishment piece out of it. This is just a die cut, um, you know, like a doily. I cut on the top and then just clipped on one of these spiders from the Dollar Tree. Okay, and I just, <clears throat> I just kind of tip them and arrange them you know, as I'm putting them in. Okay, these, this is in here. I did a, showed a little clip of this. <laughs> I used the stamp and die set from Scrap Diva this, this month. Um, stamp on these glassine bags, which is very hard to do. Um, and so my um, coloring isn't real great, um, but I think it still turned out okay. So anyway, I wanted to put, um, this in here so this is the um uh, pocket tag i think yeah pocket tag and so the pocket tag you can use for any time um and but it also comes with the um the coffin tag those two layers and then um it also comes with a spider and this trick-or-treat word with this thing so anyway it's all layered up again back there so that's how i packaged up that and then i um, I added in, um, or I flipped it all together with this cute little, let's see, how do I have this? No, it goes this way. With this cute little bat, um, paper clip. I think that's just adorable. Got that off of Timu. Okay, put that in there. All right, I have this cute little ghosty tag. This is from Scrap Diva this month also. Love it, love it, love it. And so there's just one, but it's just, you know, some extras. And I put it in these cute little bags and I just left the, the tie sticking out up there. 
So I have that tucked in there. Okay. I made um, a sequin mix and I have it all um, enclosed in this black striped acetate. So there's quite a lot of stuff in there. This is a bow from Dollar Tree. It had some different kind of center I took out and then I added a flower that I was gifted right there. And then I used the word eek and <clears throat> it has the, it's out of the black, kind of like patent leather type thing where it's shiny um, in the black. So there's the sequin mix. And let's see where I can fit that. I just keep like fitting things down in there. And like I say, I kind of go back and forth, like kind of alternating and sticking things to one side or the other. So it's kind of, you know, staggered. And then here is another um, of the witch broom shaker. This one, I just decorated a little bit and just left it like this so they could put it on whatever rather than um, the other one, how I added it to the um, to the embellishment. And then this is a, a witch a stamp and die set that I had in my stash. This is embossed in pink. Turned out like cute, so I just put that on there for <clears throat> put something on the top. I got my cute little pin. Just got these in yesterday from Timu, so I was waiting on those. Just wanted to stick him there in the middle. So there's that so far. Okay, and then lastly for this, I have um, this cute, these cute little bags I had in my stash, and this is a ghosty paper clip from Timu. And in this bag, um, I stamped and die cut all of the pieces from the this month's um, stamp a die ghost set from Scrap Diva. So I didn't color them in. I figured I'll let the person color them if they want to color, you know, with Copics or, you know, whatever they want. And then I also, I did every single one of them. So, um, so they have some words and some of the um, images and stuff. And then it's just um, clipped closed with this. Let's see. Oh, it goes this way. These ghost things are the cutest also. Just got to remember how I, um, how I put it in there. So cute. So there's that. We'll stick this in here somewhere so it can kind of peek out a little bit too. Okay, so now I have everything back in there. So that's what it looks like again. Okay. And then I made all these cute little um, tag type things. Um, to tie on each of the packages so they know who it came from. Okay. So I just layered, I have the tags from the collection, some of the cut aparts from the collection. I stitched on, I think of just about everything. And then this is the, one of the words from the stamp and die set and then some puffy stickers. And then this is a die that was like a whole stack of pumpkins and I cut them apart and just added a little pumpkin there. Put a little thing on. There's a tiny little spider web from my stash that I layered back there. So those turned out cute. So those will be tied on once I get these in the <clears throat> plastic. It'll be tied on there so they know who it's from. So I got all those. <coughs> and then I'm also including this. These are these cute little um, pink corduroy bags that I hauled from Timu. They are so cute. I've got to order some more of these. They're so soft and pretty. And I made a dangle using a bunch of different beads and hung them on a garment clip again. So this could all be taken off and used on other things if the person wants to. And then inside here is where I am housing my um, mini trinket box. So I just, and I, I made another dangle to go on the side of this. <laughs> it turned out really cute. So there's all kinds of charms and flat backs and some um, wire wrap beads and that kind of stuff inside there. I wrapped it with some paper and then just tied this pretty bow on it so it's not too cluttered up. And it's not like this can just slide off. It's just a belly band um, that can just slide off so they can reuse this box without having it all glued up and stuff. So that is in there. <clears throat> and then I'm also including this cu these cute little set of keychains. It's got the two ghosties and the heart 
is um, uh, heart is like half of one of a black heart and half of the pink heart. It's magnetized, so I thought that was really cute. So I'm gifting that. And then I also got a pack of this from Timu also that I'm gifting. Can can kind of be like a base to start off with. Um, you can add you know more sequins and stuff. This is mostly just clay pieces. So I thought that was cute. So I'm gifting that and a little baggie of black eyelets. And then I'm also gifting this cute little bat pom-pom keychain that I got from Timu also. So that's all my, a bunch of my store-bought goodies along with my um, mini trinket box. I think it turned out so cute. Then plus they have the, um, this gorgeous bag to use after also. So anyway, that's what I'm sending out. Hope the people that receive mine like it. Again, um, be sure to start watching. Uh, I'm sure she's going to be doing the um, reveals here shortly. Anyway, it's Larissa at um, October Avenue Crafts on YouTube and on Instagram. So get ready to see all the submissions. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.